Hi everyone, I'm Luca, one of the co-creators of the Wick Editor, and today I'll be showing you how to change your project settings in Wick Editor 1.0. So when you start using the Wic Editor, your project's gonna have default settings. What do I mean by that? Well, the background of your canvas is going to be white, um, the canvas is going to have like this default widescreen layout um, and your timeline is going to be running at 12 frames per second. So how do we change these values to customize our project to what we're making? First things first, head over to the top right of your project and you'll see this little gear icon. If you click on that gear icon, you'll open up the project settings window. And you got a couple of things that you can change here. First thing you can change is your project's name. Now, my animation I have on screen is a bouncing ball. So I think I'll change mine to bouncing ball. Great. Now, if I save these settings, my um, project is now gonna be called bouncing ball and nothing else is gonna be changed. Check out some of the other settings in here. So here, we've got a project size, width and height um, value. And what does this actually mean? Well, this input over here is gonna say how wide our project is. So why don't we change this to say 500 and how about we change the height to 500 as well? We'll make a square project. Um, if I save these values, now you'll notice that my project's canvas is 500 by 500. My animation hasn't moved from the position it was in, but my canvas size has changed. Now, um, you're going to be able to see all the things you've drawn before if you change your canvas's um, size, but when you export your project, only the items inside of these borders are what's going to show up. So that's why changing your project size actually matters. Um, let's see what the next value is. So next on the list we have frame rate, or FPS, also known as frames per second. This tells WIC how fast to run your project. By default, this will be set to 12. Now, um, we can change this to uh, any value you'd, we'd like. A uh, really common value for animation is 24 frames per second. So if we save that, and I press play, you'll notice that the ball bounces twice as fast as it did before, because 24 is twice as large as 12. Um, and we're running 24 frames a second instead of 12 frames a second. Kind of nice. Um, we can also make that value lower. So if I change this to like six, and I press play, you'll notice that now my ball plays a lot slower. Great. So now let's check out that last value in project settings, and that's background color. And this one's pretty straightforward. Um, if I change the background color, I get a nice color picker, um, and I can save. And now I've got a blue background on my project instead of white background. And I'll change the background color on every single frame. So those are your project settings, and that's how you change and interact with your project settings in the Wick Editor. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to support the Wick Editor's development, head on over to our Patreon and become one of our Wick Editor patrons. Patron donations go straight to developing the free and open source Wick Editor um, and are used to support the tool overall. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.